Hey guys, welcome back to another review on our YouTube channel. Today's going to be a very quick review on how to update your boombox audio system right from your house. The downloads that you need are right there on the HarleyDavidson.com website. So if you have a little thumb drive, guys, you can just use it and plug it in here and update your system. So basically, you just want to get in your dash box right here and locate your thumb drive port, which is right there. You're going to turn the bike on accessory. You're going to wait for the uh, prompt the uh, warning prompt to come up. Now guys, I uh, had a lot of questions in the past if you can get rid of the uh, warning prompt. Uh, read in the forums that there is a way to do it, but no one has ever showed us how to get rid of that. Uh, I've done some research on it and I can't find it. Uh, with the update that I have right now, after about a minute or so, I guess it is, uh, it'll actually turn off on its own. And you can just simply push the button on your uh, thumb control on the throttle side and that's your inner button and it will go away. Now once it gets fired up and you get rid of the warning screen, just push the home button right there and you want to go over to setup and you want to scroll down until you see system information. You want to click that. Software, you have software, hardware, EQ, go to software. Now on my 14 Street Glide standard radio, I had version 1.20.1. Now we're going to take our thumb drive inside, put it on the computer and see what version is available. Okay guys, so now we're in here at the computer and uh, this is a little thumb drive that I was telling you about. You can pick one of these up. This is a nano thumb drive made by SanDisk, uh, but you can use any thumb drive as long as it's bigger than eight gigabytes. So you just want to plug that into your computer. Now, once you have that plugged into your computer, you want to go to the HarleyDavidson.com website. You want to go right up here where it says owners. You want to scroll down right over here you have infotainment you want to go down to software downloads and on this page you'll have the boombox software updates um, you want to pick the stereo that you have in your bike make sure you know which one you have you have standard premium premium cvo other software and wireless technology these are all the tabs that you can use right here i have the standard radio because it's just a 14 street glide it's not special uh, so we want to go down here and uh, guys, this gives you all the information that you need on how to do this. This is basically what I'm telling you to do right here. We want to click on download software and we're going to put this software on the desktop. You want to click save. So basically now I'm just saving this file to the desktop on my computer. It's best to make sure that your thumb drive is completely empty. If you have songs and pictures and all that stuff on there, you want to just slide that off into a new folder on your computer, format your thumb drive and make sure you have an empty thumb drive. Um, and then you can always slide that stuff back onto that thumb drive later from your computer. Okay guys, once it's downloaded, you can look on your desktop or wherever you saved it and you'll see that it is a zip file. So I want to double click that and I want to unzip it. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to close all the zip programs and you'll see now that we have a zip version and an unzip version. You can always from here go ahead and delete the zip version. We don't need that anymore double click that to open it and you'll see that we have inside here two files here on the left you'll see USB drive this is our thumb drive so I'm just going to simply copy these I'm going to click on the USB drive now this is inside our USB drive I'm going to right click paste now I have just put those two files on our thumb drive our two files are right here on this thumb drive guys so now we're just going to take this out and put it back in the bike so what we're going to do right now is go ahead and put the bike in accessory mode once again wait for the warning screen to go away okay we're going to push accept to go ahead and clear that now what we want to do Let's go ahead and take that thumb drive and plug it into the port. Now, authenticating update image, remove USB device to cancel. We don't want to remove it. We want to go ahead and let it read it. Please do not interrupt the software update once it has started. Turn ignition switch to the accessory position. Update from version 1.20.1 to 1.21.2 question that's giving you a question so you have to click yes or no we're going to click yes
So it says the software update is complete. Remove USB device. So simply unplug it. It's going to refresh the screen. Back to the warning screen. We're going to accept. And now we're back to our home screen. Now from there guys, you can simply check by going back through the same motions that we did. We went through the home button, set up, scroll down till you see system, system information. Click it, software, update version 1.21.2.1. So now we know that it did take the update and that gives us the software version right there. And we have the most up-to-date version that Harley has to offer. So it's pretty simple guys, pretty straightforward. The only thing I don't really care about doing that and even at Harley Davidson, when I had it updated through them, they don't really tell you what's in the update version. Say like if you have a smartphone guys and you have a particular app on there that you use and all of a sudden it says, hey, there's an update. You can go to that app's webpage and it'll tell you exactly what it's updating. Uh, it'll tell you any bug fixes that they're doing. Uh, most of them will be pretty specific about what they're fixing. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about this, doesn't tell you anything. Just says you have this version and here's a new version. Um, it doesn't go into any detail that I found anywhere on the website that tells you exactly what it's updating. Uh, I would like to see that, guys, uh, if you're going to be doing this at home, or maybe the Harley-Davidson shop has uh, more information that we have. But when I did it at the Harley-Davidson store, I asked the guy what the update was, and he said there was no, he had no clue. And that was one of the service guys, so I have no idea, guys. The only reason I would like to see it, guys, is that that way if I update my radio and something gets all jacked up in there, you know, I'd like to know, hey, what was the older version? Did the older version work? Do I have access to the older version? So it'd be kind of cool, guys, if they just put it on the website exactly what they're fixing. What are they updating? You know, it doesn't say anything. Why was there an update? There obviously was an issue somewhere, so they had to have an update. Um, just tell us what the update was. If any of you guys out there know how to find that information, please put it in the comment box down below, and I'll uh, pin that to the top and uh, give our viewers uh, more information. So that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty straightforward thing to do. It's another upgrade that you can do at home. Uh, you can take it to the Harley-Davidson shop and get it done. Uh, our local shop didn't charge me anything. The guy walked out, looked at my screen, checked the version while we were out there talking about the moisture in the screen and he just updated it for me. But hey guys, if this video helped you, please hit that like and subscribe button. Guys, it lets me know that you're out there and these videos are helping you. And plus it keeps our channel alive and lets us bring these uh, video upgrades to you on a weekly basis. Every time we do an upgrade to the Street Glide, we like to get it on camera and help you make an informed decision on whether or not you want that particular product on your bike or that particular upgrade. For all you guys that have jumped on board in the last couple of months, you guys are kick ass and I appreciate the hell out of you. Uh, the channel's growing. Uh, uh, quicker than I ever imagined. So please check out my other videos, guys. There's a lot of upgrades that we've done to the uh, 2014 Up Street Glide. So if you have any questions or comments on this right here, please leave it in the comment box down below. Uh, until the next video review, as always, be safe and keep your knees in the breeze.